So we're gonna make some of these HelloFresh enchiladas today. This is a four person one, right, Biebs? Are you gonna make a four person or a two? It's four person. All right, but they are looking delicious. This is vegetarian. Everything that you need is right here. You guys have seen us make this before. Um, not this particular one, but you've seen us make HelloFresh. It is a subscription service. We ate a lot of this during quarantine, <laughs> um, but all your ingredients are listed here and then all your instructions are on the back. So Beebs is gonna whip this up because y'all know I can just like make toast and stuff. If you guys wanna try out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code NicoleG14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. And then everything that you need comes in its own little bag. You get three meals in each box. I believe it's three meals. You can probably get less or more. I feel like we always get the ones with three meals. They're labeled. And again, everything you need is right in here. Step one, preheat the oven. 475. Bang! We cooking these things. Cooking with some heat tonight. Here we go. Got tortillas. Roasted tomatillo salsa verde. Some of our produce. Guanos. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Got tomatoes, got green onion. Ooh, what is this little guy? A little chili pepper? A little chili. Got black beans. Again, this is a four person yes, this, situation, a guys. Lot. So when we would order them, we would only get two. Oh my god, this little Monterey chili. Jack. What is these? We got three little chilies. Sour cream. Sour cream and Southwest Spice. Oh, you heard that, y'all? Yes, you're not putting all that moisture and watering down your sauce and everything else. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Core, de seed, and diced poblano. See, like, I, I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> HelloFresh has tons of options, so many recipes. So delicious. Like I said, I haven't met one that I didn't like. They have locale, they have carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers, which is really nice. I think that it just saves a lot of time and you don't really have to stress out on what you're gonna cook because most of these recipes only take about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes because they have quick and easy options. I love that you're not like sitting around like, what are we gonna eat, what are we gonna eat? Your recipe is right there and everything that you need is right in your fridge. Slice the chili. Oh, Drain beans over a small bowl, reserving the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> no photos, please. Heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Add poblanos and cook until softened. Three to four minutes. We are saving a teaspoon of this. We're gonna add tomatoes, scallion whites, okay. half the beans. Half the beans. And two tablespoons of bean liquid. <laughs> hmm. Smells good. Got to smell even better. Open up the sinuses. Smells good, yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember that time we made chicken pot pie? And we didn't even show y'all the end result because we ate it. It was so good. <laughs> that was a HelloFresh. So good, yeah. We still use that recipe too. We're going to show you the end result of this one though, don't worry. <laughs> a large drizzle of oil. On the rest of our beans. A small pot. Small pot. Two tablespoons of butter in the beans. In the beans. So well. Mash those up. Plenty of salt and pepper. A little bean. Little bean. And then it says a small amount of the filling. On one half. Mm-hmm. 
un. Un, un enchilada. <laughs> Spoon in enough salsa over to generously coat Monterey Jack. Named after Jack from Monterey, California. Yeah. So we'll see that just coming Jeopardy. together. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and they were baking it for on the top rack until salsa is bubbly and cheese melts. Three to five minutes. Three to five Damn. minutes. Damn. Yeah. Do what it do. Enchiladas bake, add sour cream to a bowl with the reserved southwest spice. Drizzle. Stir in warm water, one tablespoon at a time until mixture reaches a drizzling consistency. Season with salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Voila. Oh, them things toasted up. Oh, they smell great. Mm. No green onion on top for beeps. Just no. a little garnish. Just for you. We're going peppers, chilies. Little sauce. A little crema. So I'm going to leave all the HelloFresh information in the bottom for you guys if you want to try it. Every single thing that we've had from HelloFresh has been chef's kiss, so I cannot wait to try these. This is like one thing that I've never had from them before. Veggie. Enchiladas. Enchiladas. Okay. You want these three little shorties right here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ooh. Mm. Yum. Yum. It like slants it like this. <laughs> Hobo, baby. <laughs> what is this called? A shiv? Shim? A shim. Shim? She got it on the box this big. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. Alright. You going for a bite? Yeah. On you camera? You really wanna see the bite? Ooh. You ever watch the cooking channel and they don't take a bite of something? Don't you get mad? Oh my god. Meet this Monday. Ooh. It's, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got a little of that pepper. Oh, see, hot. I skipped the pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's real good. Mm. Two thumbs up. Mm. Yum. I like that salsa. Mm -hmm. Those little peppers. Give Got it a, a little, little kick. A little kick. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost just knocked your whole little setup down right here, grabbing my water. <laughs> the video's done. It's done? Yeah, we gonna go. Tear these up. Good morning! Even though it's not morning, it's definitely afternoon. It's about 12.30. It is Tuesday, my dudes. I am heading to Faces of South Tampa for a little follow-up facial um, because the esthetician wanted to do more extractions. Um, on the skin so that's what I'm gonna go back and do today but I will include my facial from the first time that I went because I was just doing like a little uh, quick I think it's only like a minute that I'm putting on my Instagram but there's just like a lot going into the facial and it's one of the best facials I've ever had so again going to faces of South Tampa and yeah we're getting some extractions today which meow Meow for the extractions. I love getting extractions, but I hate it because I do find it a little painful. And I can't get over the fact that like, okay, so I love these sunglasses and I like them like this, like down, but then like I'm like looking over the lens. But I feel like when they're like too far back on my face like this, like it's giving big Keanu Reeves Matrix vibes, especially when it's the black ones. <laughs> Let's go, because it's gonna take us like 40 minutes to get there. So I'll see you probably after the facial because I'm not gonna record this one. I'm just going, I'm just gonna chill. So actually let's kick it into the first facial. So you haven't had a facial for some time, right? Yeah. That's how I work. I kind of look at um, a client's skin and then I design the facial for you, okay. especially for what I see in front of me. Perfect. So if anything uh, you don't like, a scent or anything, just let me know. Okay. Just a little steam, just in the first phase of a facial, but really far away because of the redness in your skin. Okay.
there's nothing you need to do right now just to be here so leave the world behind if you can so you have a good experience for your face and for the body If there are certain things you need to know about rosacea, like rosacea doesn't like extreme temperatures, too hot, too mm -hmm. cold. You know, probably when you go that makes sense. skiing, like in Colorado, your yeah. rosacea you want to make sure that when you wash your face, you only look, you only use look warm water. Okay. Hot showers are really not so good. No. So you, you feel a little tingly, but not very much, right? Right. So this acid is very mild. The molecules are very large, so it's mostly this acid goes very well with the mechanical exfoliation, which is the dermaplaning. Mm -hmm. Then you put this acid for hydration. Mm. Because the pH is very close to your own pH, which should be between 4.5 and 5.5, mm -hmm. there's no peeling, there's no downtime, it's just a beautiful skin. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something that is really cool. Okay. It's called a snowball. Oh. now cool. it's another way of exfoliating actually oh. it takes a little bit more that skin mm -hmm. so now what I'm doing I'm kind of like lifting the peel off along with the dead skin so it's all about removing the dead skin mm -hmm. in the most gentle way possible for the skin to rejuvenate so basically as we get older Nicole mm -hmm. skin gets lazy and the dead skin do not want it to come away but we're gonna we're not gonna let that happen Oh, wow. We're forcing them out. Do not feel this is a cryotherapy. This feels good. Cryotherapy is very popular right now, but the snowball has been around for a long, long time. I can't believe how little redness there is. Usually when I leave a facial, I'm just like, I look like a uh, stop sign. <laughs> well, that is, um, so my old, my goal is always to, for you to look better than you came. Yeah. You have sensitive skin, yeah. so we have to be very much aware of that. Another bomb ass facial. I don't understand. This lady's got magical hands or something, but again, not any redness to the face at all. I know that I should be looking at y'all, but I'm looking at my skin. She um, just is very aware of how reactive my skin is. So I will see you guys in a little bit. My SD card is full, so I gotta go. Before the workout, after my workout. I cried. I cried. I cried. I'm gonna go take a shower. Meatless Monday. Meatless Monday. Sweet potatoes and what, garlic in here? Onions, Onions. garlic, a little soy sauce. Smells wonderful. And we want some cauliflower. Cauliflower, no some shrooms? Carrots, mushrooms. Carrots, mushrooms. 
And a little bit of uh, a little hoisin sauce. A little hoisin and some edamame. Ooh. Ooh. No chickpeas, you're doing edamame instead? A little brown rice. A little brown rice. That looks delicious. Now we're going with our veggie mix. Ooh. That looks nice. <laughs> Double scoop of the veg. So it's cauliflower, sweet potato, carrot, mushroom, edamame? Yep. Garlic mm. and onions. Garlic and onions and hoisin sauce. I need a bigger bowl, shall I? Well, that looks delicious. Meatless Monday. Meatless Monday. Hello. I was gonna say good morning, but it's totally the afternoon. I, you see the coffee. The coffee's going, we're drinking. I just got back from an acupuncture appointment. It was my first time getting acupuncture and I'm doing it for fertility. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna make a video on it, but I think I'm a little more comfortable saying the word like i've had a miscarriage but what a lot of people don't know is i've actually had two miscarriages in the past couple of months now i kind of touched on it a little bit in one of my vlogs but like i said i probably will ne never make like a full in-depth video about it because i just i don't know i, I just feel like that's not me like i don't want to like sit down and be like all right i'm gonna film a video about my miscarriages but um like I said, I just feel like a little more comfortable in saying it. Like I feel like I couldn't even say the word before. So just like a little short recap, I got pregnant in October of 2020. And I think I found out in December that I was pregnant and I miscarried in January and that was my first miscarriage. And then I got pregnant super fast after that. I got pregnant in February of 2021 and I then miscarried again April 21st of this year. And that one was way worse um, than the first one. The first one I miscarried at home and did everything at home. And the second one, I actually had to go to the hospital. I passed out. Um, I think I just passed out from pain, um, but I passed out and Jeremy called the ambulance and I've never been in an ambulance. I've never been in the hospital really for anything. I've had some stitches like in the back of my head and my foot as like a kid and stuff, but I really have knock on wood been pretty healthy my entire life. Um, so the second one, I think the first one was more emotionally painful and then the second one was more physically painful. The second one I don't think was it didn't hurt me as much emotionally because I, I didn't even get like excited for it. I was just super nervous about it the whole time. And it's like, I feel like as a woman, you, you can feel and you know, and I just knew like something was off. And I went to the, uh, I went to my OB one day before I miscarried, just to have a check. And then I ended up miscarrying the next day. And like I said, it was just, it, it was really bad. Um, so yeah. That's why I've just kind of been like a little bit MIA and, and stuff like that. Just, I feel like it's it's uh, like a sad thing to deal with. I feel okay, like I, I truly feel okay because like for me, I have to feel my pain in the moment. So like I was sad in those moments and I cried and I did all my crying, but I, I, I always look at things from like a positive perspective. It's just who I am as a person. So, you know, I, I'm still grateful for my health and, and all that. I, I, I am okay. I, I don't want people to like feel sad for me or anything. And, I, and, and it is something that I struggle with, like telling like my true feelings to the internet. But it's because I don't want people to think that I'm saying it because I want like sympathy. You know, like everybody struggles. We all have horrible things that we go through in life. Life is hard, life is tough. No matter what somebody's life looks like from an outside perspective, we're all struggling with something inside. Um, so we are on our fertility journey and I just got back, like I said, from my first acupuncture appointment for fertility. I'm just trying to do everything that I can for myself. Um, to get pregnant naturally before going like you know IVF route and like all that um because that's that's a that's a commitment and I applaud any you know woman that's gone through that but I was reading and it said that you know you should kind of do IVF after you've been trying um to get pregnant for a year and and we really haven't been trying the first time that I got pregnant was by accident um and then the second time we were trying so yeah that's where I'm at um the acupuncture went really good you know if you've never gotten acupuncture you basically just get the little needles popped in there and then you just kind of chill and meditate for like 25 30 minutes or so but the weird thing was is after my appointment I had like a little itch in my throat <clears throat> and I was in the office I was wearing my mask and all that stuff because she, you know she asked 
for mass to be worn um and i had like a little cough and she's like do you want some water and i'm like sure so i get the water and then all of a sudden like i'm starting to sweat and my eyes are watering because like i want to cough but i'm holding it in so i'm like all right are we done here like are my appointments booked she's like yeah you're good i'll see you next time i'm like all right pew, out the door as soon as i get out the door i'm like coughing like having a full-on coughing attack and i'm like what the fuck is going on i get in my car i'm like sweating tears running down my face my face is bright red and then the next thing you know i'm throwing up i'm like what the hell is that so i like look it up real quick like i'm like throwing up from acupuncture and apparently like it is a side effect of acupuncture it's like your body's like detoxing so as soon as i threw up boom instantly better stop sweating no call and i was like okay that that was weird and now now i feel perfectly fine so yeah <laughs> who called me my mama called me twice and then our groomer so fish is getting a haircut today she's had a, she had her haircut i think like four months ago and that's what our groomer said like every four months she comes to the house which is nice but fish still like is gonna flip out when she sees the lady come through with her little folding table she just cuts her like right in the entryway super super fast really easy the lady's super nice and she cuts her like that but fish is just like a scaredy cat like you could be like boo and fish will jump i'm gonna finish drinking my coffee then we gotta go to the grocery store work out and that's it i'm currently uploading a video for makeup forever uh, i'm gonna try to vlog all day today so hopefully i'll see you guys at the grocery store <laughs> we'll see how that goes oh wait let me show you my new nails i got my nails done yesterday i had a 9 a.m sunday nail appointment all 10 of them are different and i was asking on instagram i'm like do you guys have a favorite nail because like I feel like I always have a favorite nail, and I feel like this one is my favorite nail. But yeah, super cute. Um, I get Gel X nails, in case you were wondering. Tomorrow, me and Jeremy will have been together for 12 years, y'all. Where does the time go? I guess time flies when you're having fun. All right, I gotta go. My mama's calling me, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Good morning. I have to go to the dentist today. I'm currently drinking a coffee. I don't know why I'm doing that to myself. Doesn't seem smart, but I don't have to be there for like an hour or so. Um, so remember I told you that I was going to acupuncture. I'm also taking some like Chinese herbs. I'm taking relaxed wander. So I take three in the morning and three at night. I'm going to take these and then finish the rest of my coffee. And then I will see you guys when we're heading out to the dentist. And then I'll tell you in the car why I have to go. I don't want to go. I'm at. So I have to go to the dentist because I have, I guess, leftover cement on my teeth from when I got my veneers done almost two years ago now, y'all. And I guess it's like white cement and it's underneath my gums. So they're about to get rid of all of that, which includes them sticking a needle in my mouth to numb me. So that's why I'm not excited. Our appointment's also in six minutes, so I guess we better get the fuck up out of here. Three hours later. So I just got home. It was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It had to numb me a little bit. So like I was saying in the car, when I got my veneers done, they used, obviously, they have to use cement to cement your teeth in. <clears throat> and he was saying that it was like all underneath my gums. And since I've gotten my veneers done, and when I would like brush my teeth, my gums would like bleed. And he was like, it's because there's cement stuck underneath your gums and it's making them extra sensitive. So from this time, from the last time he saw me to this time, he said that my gums have improved a lot. And the hygienist was able to get a lot of the cement off and he got half, like the majority of it. And then he wants to see me again in a month because he didn't want to like keep digging at my gums. He wants them to heal and then come back in a month and get anything that may have been left over. So yeah, the dentist that I'm going to now, he specializes in veneers as well. And I was like watching him in the mirror, like pull cement out from underneath my gum line. So I was just like, yay. I'm gonna, I have, like I said, I'm a little bit numb still. So I'm gonna wait for that to wear off. And then I don't know, maybe I'll like take some like IG pics, get some little content situation going here. I love you so much. I love you so much. Good morning. I, I feel like I've been in this shirt for days, but it's actually only been like a day. And I like to sleep in my PJ shirts for a couple days. Okay, don't judge me. I think these are those Verse headbands. They're actually in stock. I bought new ones because I have no idea 
where my other ones are. So I got the black one and the mint one. It's the only two they had, so of course I had to get them both. Um, but they're super comfortable. I feel like sometimes headbands will like squeeze the shit out of your head and you just, it's, it's just not it. It's, it's not it. Um, so, why is this working? We just had like a fridge repairman here because like our freezer wasn't working. So he just left and it's about 10.30 I am drinking my coffee because I have to do some content today. I have to shoot some stuff for Isler for, it's not gonna live like on my channel or my socials or anything. It's gonna be like for their internal. So I'm gonna work on that. It's like basically like how to apply a lash video. I don't think I even have to talk through it at all, but I should probably look over the brief and make sure. And then I have to do like a hair campaign picture. So I'm gonna try to make this look somewhat presentable because this is my air dried hair from like two days ago so it's going we're gonna work some magic today oh did i show you my new earrings look i got two i got two new piercings the two little studs and then i switched my snake for this ring but i feel like my ring is a little big and it kind of moves around a lot so i'm probably gonna go back and switch this again but remember I was telling you this ear was under construction and I got a little yin yang up here. I don't like that they like stick out of the ear. Like these are like in your ear. Let me see if I can zoom. These like stick inside your ear. There's like no sticking out. They like lay flush. And then the new ones, like these guys, he sticks out a little bit. And I don't know if it's cause like maybe it's like still swollen or what, but you can't even see. But yeah, and then I switch this to a hoop and then I put like this little yin yang up here. Also, the esthetician told me that I have to stop dermaplaning my face. Like I can't shave my face anymore because it creates a bunch of little bumps under the skin. And I'm kind of sad about that. She told me to get laser hair removal on my face. I was like, oh. <laughs> Coffee, makeup, housewives film. Coffee, makeup, housewives film. Coffee, makeup, housewives film. Okay, I'm going. First thing done, I had to do like a little, like I told you, like a little lash video, but I feel like I'm going to take these off and put them back on for stories because I have to film that too. This creme brulee powder from Artist Couture, this is like a multi-use beauty powder. It was my first time trying it and it's really, really nice, um, but I'm just going to tap some of this over my face to kind of, not kind of, I hate that I say that, um, to eliminate the shine like that this is just my favorite blush at the moment this is from cars um el maquillage collab and this is the light face palette obsessed with this blush pigmented and just like electric it's almost like a neon blush that's it <laughs> my manager just told me she's naming her dog cersei i love it so much all right, I got stuff to do. I gotta go. <laughs> Two hours later. Woo! I just went outside to take some pics. Like I told you guys, I had to take a hair pic today. So I actually did my hair and then went outside and took a picture. <gasps> it's so hot out there. So now I'm gonna go through, see which ones are good, do a little editing, and then send it off. And then I think I'm done for the day, right? I did that, I did that. Oh, I gotta work on, oh, I got, I got one more thing to do after I do this. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. So we're heading to the piercing place because I pulled my little stud through my ear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's stuck in my ear, hanging out the halfway in the back. So I'm gonna go to the piercing spot. Hopefully they can snatch it out of there. Ouch. It's feeling very, very spicy very spicy it's just like getting sore by the second so i know as soon as she touches it i'm gonna like come off the damn table oh <laughs> why couldn't it just pull all the way through 20 minutes later it's pulled out and popped back in i was gonna just leave it out let it close and she didn't even give me the option she was like nope put a little like bigger stud in because it's super swollen but in and out now we're gonna go get some tacos since we're already in Tampa. One hour later. All right, so I'm back home. I was just rubbing on fish, so I have a little bit of a hive happening here. Um, yeah, so I didn't end up vlogging inside of the shop because it literally happened so fast. It was like, she was busy. She took me in while she was like sanitizing somebody else's jewelry. Thank God. 
that I went there because I was like really debating like, okay, do I go to urgent care or do I go back to the piercing spot? Urgent care would have been faster. The piercing spot was definitely better. So this ear, okay, let me show you. Can you see it? Like it, you can totally tell he's like mad, he's irritated, he's bloody. Um, so I was at the doctor. Now I'm like so like cautious of it. Um, so I was at the doctor and I was like sitting like this and my pinky ring snatched the earring through my ear like I felt it catch and me and the girl were like looking we're like did you hear anything fall because I was like am I missing an earring she's like you're definitely missing an earring and so we're like looking I'm like I didn't hear I didn't hear anything fall she's like I didn't hear anything fall either so then I like touched the back of my ear and I'm like it's in my ear like it's just pulled through like it pulled backwards through so the diamond just like pulled it was just like hanging out in the middle of my earlobe so I was like oh love that for me so again, I was like, do I go to urgent care or do I go back to the piercing spot? So I'm really glad that I you know, just took the time to drive out there. Jeremy drove me out there um, and I was just super nervous. So I literally like walk in, I wait like five minutes and she's like, all right, girl, let's get it going. She put like a bunch of lube on it, a bunch of lubricant and a bunch of saline spray and she just yanked it. And like it obviously hurt a lot, a lot, a lot, but she got it out super, super quick. And I honestly, guys, I was like, just let it close. I'm like, I don't care. I don't want it. She's like, no, we're not letting it close. So she put a large post in because it's super swollen. So she couldn't get the same like little post back in. If you guys have never had your ears pierced, or if you've never had them pierced with like a piercing earring, they like click together. So they pull apart like this. Um, so she put the longer post in so that it had room with all the swelling that was going on. She didn't give me a chance. She was like, I'm putting this earring back in. You're not losing this piercing. So I appreciate her. It is Bloom Body Art. Um, the piercer's name is Amber. She switched out my earrings the other day, actually. And she's like, she has like a really gentle touch. Like I love Matt. He's just like, you know, he did all my piercings. Um, but Amber is really cool too. If you can't get Matt, I go to Bloom body art that's like where all my jewelry and piercings are from so yeah that was a little that was a little traumatic today now I'm like I feel like I'm so cautious of my earrings like nothing traumatic really ever happens to me I did have to go to the emergency room one time because um I had like a swollen ear this was a few years ago now this is like literally the day before we went to India <laughs> my ear swelled up a bunch Matt, my piercer, told me to go to urgent care to get antibiotics. It was probably just infected. So I go to urgent care. The doctor there was like, oh yeah, he's like, this is super infected. He's like, you have to take out all your earrings. The infection is going to spread. And I was like, sir? Sir? Like, I was like, absolutely not. I'm not taking out all my earrings. So he's like, all right, well, here's your prescription. Go get it. This was like later in the day. It was already like five o'clock. I was like their last patient at urgent care. So I go take my prescription to the pharmacy that they called it in at. The pharmacy was closed, so I couldn't get my prescription. I tried to go back to urgent care to tell them that, and they were closed too. I'm like knocking on the window, they wouldn't come to the door. I'm like full on in tears, because I don't know what to do. The earring is like, you can't even see the back of my earring. So a few hours go by, I'm like, all right, whatever, I'll just have to wait till the next day to get my antibiotics. So I'm like packing for India, do, 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 do. And I told Jeremy, I'm like, can you see the earring? And he's like, I can't see anything back there. He's like, I think we have to go to the emergency room. He's like, it looks huge. And there's no earring back back there. It's just covered. I'm like, oh my God. So we end up going to the emergency room at like 9 p.m. at night. And the doctor comes in and he's like, ooh. He's like, I may have to cut your ear to be able to get it out. And I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna cut my ear. Like I'm literally like in tears crying. And he's like, but let me try first and see if I can get it. So he's like, it's gonna hurt a lot. He's like, just try to stay as still as you can. And he got in there and he just popped the two apart. So he, thank God he didn't have to cut my ear open or anything like that, but he just pulled it apart. And as soon as he pulled the earring out, it was like, like my ear just like instantly went down. And I'm like, do I have to take out all my earrings? And he's like, who told you that? And I'm like, the doctor at urgent care. And he was like, and that's why he's a doctor at urgent care. And he just left the room. I'm like, well, excuse me, Dr. McShady. But that's the only really other traumatic thing that's happened to me with my piercings. I've been pretty lucky and I've never had like keloids or like anything like that. Um, I had, I don't want to say I never had them because I, I had like a tiny keloid for literally like a week and tea tree oil took it away. It's like nothing crazy. So I don't even consider it one. Maybe it was just like a bump. I don't even know if it was actually a keloid but it went away super fast. So 
that this is the worst thing that's happened is pulling my earring through they said it happens a lot she was saying the girl at the front desk and the piercer was saying that it happens a bunch with like little tiny studs like that that they can get easily pulled through and i was like oh great so as soon as he's healed he's out of there he's on his way out we're putting something else in because i'm not taking that chance again this little ass ring this little ass ring ruined my day <laughs> I've had a hell of a week today. I've gone to the dentist, I've gone to the doctor, I've had acupuncture, I've like, pulled my freaking earring through my ear. I have to go get some blood work done tomorrow. Lots of lots of needles happening in my life this week. Somebody wrote me a DM and said that and they were like, well, good thing you're not scared of needles. And I was like, good thing. Cause I've been around a lot this week. Tomorrow's Thursday, like I said, we gotta go get some blood work done. And then Friday, I just have a eye exam. Cause I've noticed that I'm kind of squinting with my glasses i don't know if you guys know that i wear glasses but i do and i uh i've noticed that i'm kind of squinting a little bit when i wear them so i think it's been it's probably been like two or three years since my last eye exam so i want to go plus i want to get some new oranges so thank you i want to get some new um just like prescription glasses this one from a velvet caviar i literally stalked the website forever for it they send me like dms all the time saying that they'll send like pr but like for me i'd rather just purchase the the phone case that i like instead of getting just you know they send so many and i keep a phone case on for so long so but it's like oh we match <laughs> like i said i was stalking this phone case and it was just like i felt like it was like never came coming out so i ordered these two phone cases i was like i'll put i'll use these until i can get the smiley one and these come from the uk so they take a little minute to get here and then as soon as I ordered these, this came out the next day. <laughs> so I ordered it, and then of course, now I don't want to change it because it's literally my most favorite phone case ever of life. Yeah, have you guys, you've seen my tattoos, obviously, right? <laughs> but a lot of people wanted to know like why I got the happy face. The happy face is a be kind to your mind reminder. I can't not log down at my hand and see that happy face and be mad. Don't ask me why, but it just came from this guy. I have it like here on my phone, be kind to your mind. And it's just, that's just my reminder. So I like to see it. All the tattoos that I have are visible to me cause I like to see them. The only one that I really can't see is this girl power one. And I honestly forget that it's there sometimes. I wish I would have put it somewhere else that I could like see it more. Like, you know, like people get like on, the, on their back and stuff like that. And I'm like, I get my tattoos for me. I want to see them. I want to look at them. That's why they're like mainly on my hands and stuff. Remember once upon a time, I was like, I have one tattoo and I'm never getting another one. It hurts so bad. Now like they, they don't hurt. I honestly think it's because I had a mean tattoo artist. Like he was mean. He yelled at me. He didn't make us feel safe. I was only 18. Didn't do my research. <laughs> I remember when I went to acupuncture for the first time, my acupuncturist was like, oh, what's the red for? And I was like, what? I was like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, your tattoo. I'm like, none of my tattoos are color. And she's like, it's green and red, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's an Italian flag. Got it when I was a child. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go take my makeup off, and if I don't see you guys tonight, I'll see you guys mañana. Hi. So it's, what is today? It's Saturday. Um, I just took a shower. It's pretty late in the day still. I just woke up from a nap like a little bit ago, so that's why I'm a little low energy. My ear is doing better. It still has like a little scab around it and I'm scared to mess with it, <laughs> but it is doing better. It doesn't like feel sore or anything. So <clears throat> tonight we were going to go bowling, um, but I guess now we're going to go throw axes or some shit like that. Beebs wants to go throw some axes around at the wall, something like that. Um, so me and him and his sister and her husband are going to go, Emily and Ruben. And the bean can't come because you can't, they don't let kids under eight come in. So she's seven, she'll be eight in November. Um, so we're gonna do that and then probably go and get some tacos afterwards. So it's at eight, you have to make a reservation to go. So I'm gonna dry my hair, put some makeup on. <laughs> Paperwork. Mm, get my bill. I was like a straight 
extension wear for like what five years straight like i had extensions in all the time and they'll tell you this shit like oh your hair will grow with extensions and no it won't no it will not maybe some people's hair okay m maybe let me just speak for myself <laughs> my hair did not grow when i had extensions in whether it was the micro beaded ones whether it was sew-ins whether it was tape-ins whatever it was my hair was not growing and i can totally see why like why why would it grow with all that extra weight on my head and not being able to like get in and like really clean your scalp like your hair growth depends on how healthy your scalp is and i was like never able to get in there and scrub my scalp so i don't believe that your hair grows if you have like a permanently bonded and extension that you're sleeping with that you're washing your hair with i don't i don't believe it and i can only say that because my hair has never grown this much in my entire life every single time i would get my extensions taken out my hair would be the exact same length or shorter because it was just breaking <laughs> if you want your hair to grow and you're wearing extensions permanent ones take them out girl take them out get some clippings <laughs> One hour later. Don't hate, don't hate. Axel. I'm only with like actual name. I'm a killer. Murderer. Good thing I wore my flannel. Fifth final throw. High score wins. Two, one. Stop loving each other so much and win this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Throw. Oh, it went, it went no game. 